After my walk through the historic area of the Speicherstadt, I would now like to introduce you to the modern area named Hafen City. Welcome to the largest rebuilding project in Europe. In the new quarter of Hamburg, named Hafen City, old port warehouses get replaced by new modern buildings for offices, shops, restaurants and residential areas with a quite interesting and modern architecture. Sometimes building a new home can be very expensive. This building in construction is the new home for classical music in Hamburg named the Elb Philharmonie. When they started to build this in 2007, the costs were estimated at about 77 million euros. Nowadays, in 2012, the costs are at about 400 77 million euros. Nevertheless, with three concert halls, a few restaurants, a four-star hotel and a few flats, the Alp Philharmonie will be Hamburg's new object of prestige after its completion in 2013. This black cube is the Alp Philharmonie Pavilion. Here you can get some information about the whole building process and about the whole building itself. You can hear some music, watch some films about the process and um, if you are here and you have a little bit of money, you can also get to the top. Maybe you see that. There is um, a model of the concert hall and of the Alphaham. architecture here in the Hafen city is very unique and interesting and if you want to get to know more about that you have to go to one of these information centers we have two here in the Hafen city this is the info center um, Überseequartier where you get to know more about architecture you see plans and models of the upcoming buildings the best thing about it, it is completely free. You have to pay no entrance fee uh, and you can hang around and watch at all the plans and maps. You can watch movies uh, about the whole project. Ready for the next part of Hamburg? We head over to the city center in the next Hamburg video blog episode. Until then, I will make a short visit to Madrid and will also provide a video blog from there. So stay tuned and follow me on Twitter, YouTube and Facebook.